Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, it's a hot Monday, and we're keeping the fireworks going with a supersized dose of super juicy hot topics. And we're not stopping there. Celebrity blogger Diana Madison is here with the shocking revelations from Kim Kardashian's new Rolling Stone interview. Plus, find out all of this year's hottest beach essentials to have fun in the sun and hit the shore in style. Now, here's Wendy! Hey! 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 Yeah! That was a good My co my studio audience! Fantastic. It's time for Hot Topics. traffic coming into the city today. It's like everybody is still taking... I'll talk to you. <laughs> no, you know, um, thank you, co-host. I appreciate it. But, you know, people are still off from work. I don't know whether you noticed. The traffic is very light outside. I hope that you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Yeah. Uh-huh. We went to um, our local high school and sat in the grass and watched the fireworks, and I ate Zeppoli's. Not one, not two, but three. <laughs> and, uh, and that was nice. Last year, I remember we sat in the car at the 7-Eleven and watched the same fireworks, you know, over the trees. This year, we actually got out. Um, and also, over the weekend, have you, ever, um, have you ever seen this movie on Lifetime? It was invented, like, in 1997 called, called Lies He Told. Yes. Well, it came on this weekend. And normally, because I've seen all the movies, I know all the dialogues, so I skip. However, there was something about this movie that held me captive for the whole two hours. <laughs> that it was starring a Caitlyn Jenner look-alike. <laughs> okay? No, no, no! Right? I don't know her name. And I don't know where she's from. All I know is I was captivated. I had to look at the TV from five different angles, like, wow, she was Caitlyn before Caitlyn was Caitlyn. <laughs> and then, shout out to Tiffany Amber Thiessen. I discovered your show on um, the Food Network. <laughs> so, you know, Saturday mornings, I like to watch my Trisha Yearwood. And then after that, the Pioneer Woman comes on. And then all of a sudden, Tiffany Amber, the Tiffany Thiessen's show came on. Now, I'm sorry to stereotype, but generally speaking, I feel as though if you're not a trained chef, that, you're, that your cooking is about as good as mine. <laughs> on a good day, it's okay. On a bad day, it all gets garbage disposed. <laughs> you know, so I think of her as an act actress first. However, she is a real homemaker at that house. Now, look, it wasn't about the food. It was about who she had over. First of all, she wears an apron. Her kitchen is very well lit, and she's pregnant. And so Jillian Barbary came over. Now, you might not remember Jillian Barbary, but shout out to everybody in L.A. I miss Jillian Barbary on the, on the Fox News out there. So <laughs> Tiff Tiffany, Tiffany invites her friends over. It was Jillian Barbary. It was Ross Matthews, who gets along with everybody. And also Tim Reed, who played um, um, Venus Flytrap and the father uh, to Tia and Tamara. So it was just fun. It was e Tiffany, your show was just fun and easy to watch. Thank you for the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe Kardashian, you listen and you, or Courtney. <laughs> you listen and you listen good. 
I think it's time to dump Scott. Finally. Now, I don't know whether everybody's heard, because everybody's busy Fourth of July weekend. Nobody's really watching TV or pay attention, but that's where me and Hot Topics kick in. We watch for you. <laughs> okay. While Courtney was spending Fourth of July with their three kids, Scott was man for hire. He hosted several different um, events um, in Monte Carlo and San Tropez and whatnot. But that wasn't the big story. The big story is that he was seen getting cozy with another woman in Monte Carlo. And look. Yeah, uh-huh. That, that is a full-size bed with a canopy over it, and they are sharing it with each other. And that's not just any other woman. That's his ex-girlfriend. And we have more... Look. Now, well, wait a minute. Look, look at them share germs as, he, as she feeds him. Look. Look. So now, the question is, does Courtney care? She probably doesn't care. She probably checked out of this marriage a long time ago. But my thing is that even if you check out of a marriage a long time ago, that you have a particular understanding, and that understanding is you deal with your mistress behind closed doors. You don't have to do it in front of the world. Um, this girl had the nerve to put um, th some pictures of them on her Instagram social media thing. Scott can't explain these pictures away. There's not a thing that he could say. And the horrible part is that he's not even trying to hide it. I don't suspect that Chloe or Courtney cares because I don't see Court, uh, Chloe, Courtney. <laughs> I don't see Courtney as a sexual being. It, with a man or a woman or anything, anybody. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see her, I don't see her, as, I mean, you know, she's a good-looking woman, but being a sexual being and being a good-looking woman are two different things. I see her as... Mason and them's mom. Yeah. That, that's all I see. She can put on all the mascara <laughs> and flat ironing that she wants, and I just don't, I don't see it. Um, but this is her storyline for the show. And without, well, think about it. Without the Scott storyline, what does she talk about? And, you know, the kids are cute and everything, but that's not, that's not what people are watching your reality TV for. Um, I, she probably keeps them around for a paycheck, like the rest of them do. And, and, he, and he knows it, so he's got her by the throat, so he's going to continue acting the way he does. And I know that he lost both of his parents within a very short period of time, and he's an only child, but I've stopped giving him that pass. You know, it's like sometimes if you know better, you do better. He's got three kids at home, and, you know, one of them's a daughter. Is this that, you want Penelope to get, oh, he doesn't care. And, and, and so then neither do I. Let's move on. You know, I like what Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner are doing. You know, that thing where they went to the Bahamas together. I don't know whether you care about that, but, you know, they copied off of um, Gwyneth Paltrow and the other one, uh, Chris Martin. And I'm sure that these two couples aren't the first couples that have taken their kids on a, on a family vacation once the divorce has been announced. Heck, some of you watching right now have probably done it before, but it's just that these people are more famous, so they get, they get all the credit. People Magazine got the pictures of them all in the Bahamas. Well, they both look checked out of the marriage, that's for sure. I do have to say, through this picture, he's exuding heat. By the way, Jennifer Lopez has already shot back and said, no. She, she's not the one who got in the way of these two's relationship. She called on, like, a radio show or something like that. And here at Hot Topics, we never believed it, but Jen, secretly, we were like, thank God, because that would just, like, ruin it for us about you in our minds. Like, wow, she's that girl? So I'm glad. So let's clear that up. But you know what? This is a way to me, when you take your kids away, if you can, after you announce that you're getting a divorce, you take the kids away, not for a full week, because you realize you have to talk about it every single day. It's not like you're going to be able to talk about it one day and then leave it alone. <laughs> you know, the kids will come to you, they'll be asking you the same questions. Why is daddy... We talked about that yesterday. <laughs> can we talk about something else today? It should be like a quick 48 hours someplace where all you do, what you know, you, separate rooms, 
common area. So happens that these two have their house in the Bahamas. So they were all in, you know, the house. And uh, uh, this works until you find another. So that's why sh it shouldn't be like a yearly thing where every year we're going to go away when Violet has her birthday or every year we're going to go away at Christmas time because as soon as somebody moves on to the next relationship, like, would you understand your man going off with his ex? To, and, and no matter what she looks like or what she does for a living, it's a familiar territory that just sometimes after a glass of wine... <laughs> And, and the children are in the bed. <laughs> That's all. And, and don't let it be summer raining, because you know what summer rain does. Ooh, that, that is the immediate injection of romance, right? I love a summer, summer rain. Anyway, okay, so lots of celebrity week, uh, weddings over the weekend. A few you might be shocked about. It's time for Celebrity Shout Out. Hit it. <laughs> By now, most of us heard that uh, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher said, I do. <laughs> Secret ceremony. Um, you know, they welcomed their daughter back in October, and now they finally, you know, they made it legal. A lot of people have the kid, but they don't get married. In the case of when he was with Demi, they got married. They didn't have the child. Demi, now they have two. Back away from the ledge. <laughs> Demi. I know, it's got to, it's got to, like, uh, you know. Because she put in so much time. They were together, Ashton and Demi, for seven years. And then Mila just comes along, and they kind of get it all going on, and it's all working, and he's got a type, right? Long and brunette with a center part. Anyway, congratulations to you, um, Ashton Kutcher, and, and all you all. And then, did you know that Vanessa Williams got married over the weekend? <laughs> Okay. Vanessa married uh, that man right there. He's a businessman. His n name is Jim Script. They got married in Buffalo, New York. I know what you're saying because my producer said it. How random? Why Buffalo? I said, well, <laughs> let me tell you something. When you get older and you know the feeling is right, you strike regardless of where you are. So they, they called in a few friends, and they had the wedding in Buffalo. Maybe he was there on business. All of her children are grown. They're all in their 20s, except for Sasha, who um, is her 15-year-old teenager with Rick, um, Rick Fox. Rick is paying his child support, which means that, <laughs> that Jim is not, you know, inheriting, uh, you know, like a deadbeat situation. As far as Jim, we're going to keep looking, and cause we're good. We just weren't that good this weekend because it's a holiday weekend. However, <laughs> we know nothing about him. We don't know whether he has kids. We don't know whether he was married before. We don't know what he does to get his money. Nope. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that Vanessa's got hers, and hopefully what he does to get his money is not marry. <laughs> you know? I'll file the report as soon as I find out. In the meantime, Billy Joel, who's 66, he got married this weekend. Wow. Well, he, he's in love with the idea of love. I love that he loves love. Now, this is his fourth marriage, so he's not that good at it, but he's working on it. <laughs> look, look, look he, he's working on it. And um, his fiance is 33 to his 66. She's pregnant, pregnant and her name is Alexis. Similar to his daughter's name, Alexa. Oh. <laughs> uh, People Magazine got the first pictures of the wedding. It was a... F yes, there it is. Oh. Very beautiful girl. I wonder if Christy Brinkley was there. Oh. Well, they invited friends over for an annual 4th of July barbecue. Everybody th thinks they're coming. I guess they were wearing, you know, checkered shorts and, <laughs> you know, and flip-flops and stuff. They they're going to a barbecue. Next thing you know, Governor Andrew Cuomo pops out of the... Oh. To officiate, oh. Doug Heffernan was there. You know, Kevin James, the King of Queens. <laughs> Doug Heffernan was there. Um, and all is right with the world. Cute girl, she looks kind of like Vanna White right here, doesn't she? Yeah. Well, congratulations to you, Billy Joel. Now, here is what Christy Brinkley said on Instagram. 
Now, you might not think this is shade. It was a split opinion here at Wendy. <laughs> I happen to think this is shade. Listen closely. This is what Christy said. Congratulate. No, but mind you, Alexa Ray, the daughter of Billy Joel and Christy Brinkley, is only two years younger than his pregnant new bride. Oh, huh? Four years, Four years younger. Same difference. <laughs> Okay, so you have to remember that to understand what she says. So this is Christy. Congratulations to the glowing bride and groom, and to my daughter, Alexa, who has a wonderful friend in Alexis. I mean, just, just a little shade. I, you know, as opposed to saying stepmom, or how about saying nothing, Christy? Just, just nothing. Your beauty casts a giant shadow over this entire situation. Are you kidding me? We should be so lucky as to look as good as Christy Brinkley when we get to be, what is she, 61, 60? Yeah, 61. 61. Oh, okay, exactly. And they say black don't crack. No, white don't crack. So, good morning, Teresa. Good morning, inmates. It's time for a Teresa update. Hit it. Now, Us Magazine got their hands on Teresa's prison journal. Ooh. Believe me. <laughs> anyway, she explains that she wants to publish her memoir as soon as, you know, she's released from prison. And here are a few of some of my favorite quotes. All right. Believe me, I had to dig <laughs> to, to find something worth sharing with you. I went, I'm going to do my Teresa voice, which might sound like my mother's, but I, I'm sorry. I went to lunch <laughs> at 1020. I had tater tots and a soy burger that was so gross and orange. I also had some potato salad. They feed us so much here. Okay. Um, and then here's another. By the way, is this a memoir you're buying so far? No. Okay. Well, maybe this will entice you. At 12 to 1, look, they had Black History Show and handed out questions about Black History. Whoever answered the questions right gets a Hershey's candy bar or a pack of tuna. First of all, for me, there's no competition. I'm tuna fish all day. <laughs> Which one would you choose? Like, I don't want the Hershey bar. You know why? Because I'm not really a chocolate person. If I have a little tiny piece of chocolate twice a year, I'm good. But I do love some tuna fish to the point where one time my doctor told me, you know, uh, you have too much mercury in your blood. I was eating, like, tuna fish every single day. I like mine with a little bit of mayo. Yeah. Only at home do I like to put the relish in it. When I, when I get it out at the deli, I don't want any relish in it. You know, a little piece of Swiss cheese. Hit it in the microwave for 20 seconds so it's room temperature. But I must say, the Hershey bar might garner more respect in the jail. Because most, because most women love chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm always thinking about fighting, too. See, when you pop the top of the tuna fish, you can use it as a weapon and the whole bit. Here's my thing. Uh, first of all, I almost forgot about Teresa. And it's not because we don't like you, Teresa. It's because Caitlin has kind of come in and just sucked the energy out of Hot Topics. There have been a number of other things that have, that have happened that have just been juicier than you being in prison or your book. And I must tell you, a lot of uh, the, a lot of the gentlemen's that, that work here, I must say, they want to know more of the juicier details about what you do as a woman in a woman's prison. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, I said, yeah, you know, you can't be writing about, you know, how many pull-ups you do and, you know, like that. <laughs> but the point is, she's not going to do this because she has daughters and she's, go she's not going to write a book that's probably worth us reading. And I don't care about the book anymore anyway. I know I said I did, but I'm allowed to change my mind. I also don't care about the reality show, Teresa. 
Like, you could go back to Jersey Housewives or you don't have to, you know? I know Joe and the daughters, they got, um, they got like a, over $100,000 for a one-time, one-hour special. Like, Joe and the girls, go it alone, or, you know, whatever it's going to be called. <laughs> no, I have to tell you, I will watch this, but I need to be reminded. Like, you need to send me a telegram, call my house phone, call my cell phone, <laughs> fly one of those banners over the house on the airplane. It says, Wendy, turn on TV now. Because I'll forget that, too. It's just, it's just not that, in, they're not that interesting. You remember just three months ago, we were all saying, oh, we can't wait for the special. And she's got like 170 more days in prison right now before she can even come out and explode on us. I don't know. Maybe she'll become interesting again. But for right now, I'm going to take a poll, Teresa. How many people in our audience would read Teresa's memoir? Those are her three cousins. Look, they all, you, you're, all, you're all with the brunette hair over there. Big brunette hair from Jersey. Oh, are you? Oh, well, OK. Um, all right, well, those, those girls would read it. All right, well, now clap if you'd watch her reality show. Clap. I'd watch the first episode to see what it was all about, but yeah. Anyway, Teresa, inmates, at ease. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that Matt Damon is sexy? No. I don't know. I don't think of him as sexy. He's not a bad look. Wait, let's talk. It's our hot shot of the day. Hit it. <laughs> Here's what everyone's talking about. His ponytail. <laughs> now, I don't mind a ponytail on a man, as long as it's all his hair. <laughs> but upon further investigation, can we show Matt without the ponytail? Yeah. Now, girl, you can clearly see that this, this front is not the same as this front. We call this a natural front up top, and this looks like a lace front partial wig down at the bottom. And, and normally, if a guy happens to be wearing a wig, it's for a movie role, only I asked Hot Topics to find out what movies he's shooting right now. They said, well, we don't know of one. And I said, you mean he just walks around the streets? <laughs> like, with a wig on? And you know what? When I think of him, I don't think of um, sexy or hot. I think of him as a family man, which is a good thing. Like, he's married to not his high school sweetheart, but a girl that he went to high school with back in the day, and I guess they met up, and then, you know, and they have a bunch of kids, and he looks nice and cleaned up here, and I don't think of him as anything but somebody's dad and a, and a, a good actor and, and somebody's husband, which is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's it for Hot Topics. It's okay. We've got more show for you. We've got this summer's must-have uh, beach gear, but up next, our friend Diana Madison is here with the inside scoop on Kim Kardashian's feud with her brother Rob and more. So grab a snack and come on back. Our sizzling all-new July continues. We've searched high and low for the hottest topics. When I find their business out on the stoop of the Wendy Show, I gotta bring it in and talk about it. Plus, Whitney and Bobby Christina. We're getting the inside scoop on their world from Ian Halpern. Tomorrow on an all-new Wendy. Inside Scoop and here with some juicy stories from hollyscoop.com is our friend Diana Madison and her baby! <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. I found out last night I was pregnant here, actually. My you, show. you went in the bathroom and took an EPT? Uh, I kept throwing up. I was hoping to get through your segment. Oh my. <laughs> okay, what do you have about Kim K? Oh, I got some good scoop for you. Uh, first of all, there's been a lot of stories about Kim K and uh, her coming out and talking about Rob Kardashian. Uh, you know, she 
spoke out about it uh, in Rolling Stone magazines about his lifestyle and why he's MIA, why you don't see him in the public or on the show Keeping Up the Kardashians. I'm going to read her quote. So it's, uh, she said, it's not that mysterious what's happening with Rob. He's gained weight. He feels uncomfortable being on the show, and that's okay. Do I think he smokes weed, drinks beer, hangs out, and plays video games with his friends all day long? Yes. Now, the interviewer actually went on to ask, jokingly, if she's sure Rob isn't into hookers and meth, to which she actually joked back to the interviewer, saying, no, no, or he'd be skinny. Now, this... <laughs> Foot and mouth. So, after this, it became, like, this big uproar. Like, oh, Rob's upset. There's all these reports. Yeah. But, Wendy, I have some exclusive scoop for you. Kim knows that I'm going to be on the show today, and she's talking she about say? it. It's only for you. She's talking about this. Nowhere else will you see this. Only on the Wendy Williams show. She said this, quote... Rob was not upset. We showed on our show his weed smoking issues and have been open about his lifestyle. Anything I talk about in interviews, I discuss with family members first. And she did explain that, you know, they have respect for one another as a family. And anytime they talk about each other in the media or in general on the show, they have discussions about it. They don't just, like, babble. Like, they talk about it. I don't believe that. <laughs> I, I don't believe that what she said, he sanctioned her saying. I, I think that um, he is clearly going through... A situation in his life right now and that Kim is the one with no filter who does a lot of talking you know every family has one but doesn't mean we have to drag the rest of our family into our mess and we should respect when our siblings or parents or grandparents or whoever say keep my name out your mouth I think with their relationship she's always had a tough love relationship with Rob it's very clear on the show yeah I mean it was tough love on the show but he's going through something right now that is beyond tough love like Rob looks like he needs some help I think with their situation is she wants him to do better yeah. and wants him to, like, work and be successful. And she really wants him to get up on his feet. And I think it's just, every family has sibling rivalries, and I think theirs oh, is just played God. out in the public. Yeah. Well, everybody doesn't have your work ethic, Kimmy Cakes. <laughs> All right. So, is it a... This, this, uh, this next story is um, oh, pretty disgusting. This, I'm glad that you're here to talk about it. This is horrible, Wendy. Uh, Bobby Christina, you know, we all know that she's currently in the same situation she's been for a while. She's in the hospice, on her bed. A quote-unquote distant family member is trying to sell photos of Bobby Christina lying down on her bed, in her deathbed, literally, with a family member hovering over her. Now, here's the thing. These photos are being shopped around to outlets. TMZ has passed, and they said that there's actually interest by other websites and media outlets. Now, you know the picture must be the real deal and really disgusting if TMZ, who I love you, but when you pass TMZ, then we know it's a situation. I guess Hot Topics will be passing, too, then. Mm -mm. Yeah. Entertainment Tonight was asked to pay $100,000. For these photos. Entertainment tonight. Um, and they passed, too. They, I was going to say, were they entertaining that? Uh, no, they passed it, but that's the offer. Like, you have to pay $100,000 to get these photos. Somebody will end up getting the pictures, though, like the mirror, the sun, yeah. Hello Magazine, or something like or that. the tabloids. But yeah. it's, it's so disgusting. And here's this... Here's what your family members are talking about. Okay. It. So, uh, Leola Brown uh, is her aunt, and she came out and said that she's, you know, it's so disgusting. She wants justice. Uh, she went on her Facebook and said this. You took that picture thinking you're going to get some money for it, and that's going to be it. Guess what? I will myself see to it that you be revealed. You will not do to my niece what you did to Whitney. Whitney Houston is working from the grave through me. Trust. Okay. So... Where's Bobby through all of this? So Bobby Brown actually this weekend was performing in Atlanta, and people who were at his concert said that he kept stopping. He kept saying, "I'm, you know, I'm not in the right state of mind." Uh, he was spotted at LAX, and he revealed that he wants justice because me and my family are standing behind each other, and we are pushing to get justice. You know, the aunt said she wants everybody who's visited Bobby Christina to take a lie detector test. She's serious. She wants to know who this person is. They, um, a lot of people are wondering, well, why was Bobby performing when his daughter is on hospice? And, well, Bobby needs the money as well. You know, hey, long gone are the days of him being a wealthy pop star on one hand. On the other hand, if they want to make sure that things like this don't happen, then he would have been sleeping in a recliner right next to her the entire time. She doesn't have much time left. No, this it's, it's so sad, sad at yeah. this point where she doesn't have much time left. Someone's trying to make money off the situation. Yeah, well, every family's got scum. Yeah. So, you know. All right. Taylor Swift. Taylor let's, Swift. Let's talk about her 4th of July party. <laughs> so she kind of outdoes herself every year. She threw this, like, 
huge VIP Fourth of July party at her Rhode Island estate. Uh -huh. She's got this big water slide uh, that her friends, you know, could slide That's on. That's so fun. <laughs> she actually, you know, was the one who started this uh, swan pool accessory trend. Like, she put a picture up with her and Calvin Harris, and literally, it like sold out. It's like forty nine dollars. We tried every... to get one here. We weren't able to get yeah, one. Yeah, it's like sold out everywhere. Not only does she sell music, but she sells pool accessories too. Yeah. So um, she actually had her VIP friends there from Calvin Harris, her boyfriend, who like they looked really happily in love. To Gigi Hadid, who's a good friend, supermodel. Who was there with Joe Jonas? We got this happy to see B. Taylor's ex boyfriend. Odd, uh, but okay. Okay, so they were there. They actually took like these onesies, um, American flag onesie themed onesies for all their friends. Uh, Joe brought his brother Nick Jonas to the party, who's single, probably ready to mingle. <laughs> and you said this all happened at Taylor's compound in, in Rhode, Rhode Island. Island. Yeah. Cute. And so, yeah, they seem like they had a good time. She seems like she's in love. And um, yeah, she, that was her 4th of July party. <laughs> all right, well. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. And Diana's bun in the oven. <laughs> uh, for more information on these stories and more, go to hollyscoop.com, everyone. Hot Topic Sound Off is next. <laughs>Hot topic sound off. Hi, Wendy. My name's Liam. How are you doing? How are you doing, Liam? I want to sound off on Teresa, by the way. Good morning, inmates. I learned that from you. Uh -huh. I learned that from you. All right, first off, where is this prison and sign me up? Because this muffin top would love that soy burger and tater tots. Okay. That sounds amazing. I'm just saying. I know you're not a big fan of the book, but I think the book's going to do really well for her career. However, for her family, I don't think it's good for her daughters, but who cares about them? I would read I would read a, a full chapter about her plucking her eyebrows. <laughs> Real talk. Thank you, hey. Liam. What a big personality. Who's next? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? How you doing? Hi, my name is Alex, and I want to sound off on Kourtney Kardashian. Okay. Okay, Kourtney and Scott have been going around this merry-go-round for too long. Uh -huh. Okay, and he had no business being caught on the beach feeding his ex-girlfriend pasta while Kourtney's at home feeding his children. Okay. Okay, enough is enough. I admire Kourtney for standing by him through all of his ups and downs, but honey, no fireworks for Scott, no fireworks for Kourtney. Okay. It's time to hang it up. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy, my name is Rob. How you doing? Hi, Rob. How you doing? I wanted to sound off today about... Come out. Oh, hi. No. <laughs> I wanted to sound off today about Ben and Jen. Okay. I couldn't agree with you more. I think it is amazing that they're spending the time... Um, on the vacation with their kids. I think it's showing that they're a united front, that they're co-parenting, that the kids don't need to decide between the two of them. I yes. think it's an amazing job. I'm a teacher, and nothing messes up kids more than a bad divorce. I think they're doing an amazing job. Thank you for your opinion. Yeah. We have time for another one. Come on out. I'm Crystal. How you doing? How you doing, Crystal? I want to sound off on Kim Kardashian. I'm in complete disagreement with Kim. I think Kim did not get permission from Rob about that. I think that she is totally out of line with the meth comment. It was tasteless. And I think think that being a former skinny girl to now a fat girl in my group, we don't need to be fat shamed. We know we are overweight. You don't need to put that out in public. Keep your dirty laundry to yourself or out there if you want to, but keep Rob's to himself. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. I just love my co-host. They're so opinionated. Up next, everybody, we're going to show you Summer's must-have beach gear, so don't go far. It's a love fest on our all-new Wendy. Find out who's booed up and who's broken up in our romance report. And he's never afraid to say it like he means it. My favorite real estate flipper, Jeff Lewis, is in the house. You are so my kind of guy. Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. It's time to hit the beach, and here to show us this summer's must-have beach gear is our lifestyle expert friend, Janae Luciani. Yeah. Yay! Hi. How are right. you doing, ladies? How are you doing? I love being here. So, now, the first product is your bathing suit. Well, you can't have a beach essential segment without the proper attire. Mm -hmm. And this is actually from the Gravity Defying Collection for JulieJoa.com. Uh -huh. I helped design this. It has a built-in bra. 
I like and that. adjustable straps. So hard to find support in swimwear, right? Yes. So that's why I wanted to do this. It's $125. Love it, love it. Okay, All right, yeah. well, we what's our next product? We've got to talk cover-ups, and a lot of people just want to reach for their towel and throw that on. But right. you don't want to throw on a bulky towel. It makes you look larger. Never a good look. So this is actually simple sarongs. It's $48, and it buttons strategically. Perfect. So it's in like a V shape. There's and it a gives button you this hole and a button. Slimming look, right? So good, right? Love that. And it's your towel, and too. It's, it's not real thick. <laughs> no. Perfect. Okay, so, these I love, love, love. We know you, you love your shoes, Wendy. Yes. So these are genius. These are slot flops. And they actually have a hidden compartment to stash all of your valuables. Credit cards, money, hotel keys. Yes. 25 bucks, come in lots of colors, super fun. Okay, that's great. So, like, right. let's so we're going this way, don't trip on that. <laughs> so it is possible to have a little too much fun in the sun. You don't want to burn, right? You got to get shady. This is perfect. So we found this great pop-up tent from Picnic at Ascot. It's $79. That's it? It gives UV protection of, like, 50 plus. Great, right? right? This, so this is great. And so, so wait, now this look is how, how it's portable. Cool. Yes. So is you it just lightweight? Tote it like this. Super lightweight. Tote it like this. All right. Wait. Let me see. You gonna try? It? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <Oops. laughs> look, it's lightweight. I'm holding it with my pinky. This We're is good. We're in the beach here. Right? This is good. Yeah. Yep. So we can just toss this aside. <laughs> She's cleaning what a mess. up. She's now. Speaking of portable, we want to bring your wine to the beach, right? We love to have a cocktail. Of course. So this is really cool. This is a wine sack, and you actually take a bag of wine from any box of wine. Wow. Okay, stick it in there. Stick your ice packs in there. It dispenses it, so you're good to go. $69. Carry it like a purse. And then you use, you use these cup yes. holders right here, and right. you'll notice they're forked at the bottom. Right. So exactly. So you want to hold your cups for your beach party, whatever this Sticks right here in the sand. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I like all this so far. Right now, these right. look really comfortable. So we gotta get comfy now. This is the mother of all beach chairs from Hammaker. Okay, you know how um, a lot of women get really uncomfortable, like when it's laying on your stomach. Yes. This has special pillows for a lot of spinal support. Uh huh. And you can just lay here like this. Here, come down, and you can read your tabloids, Wendy. Your books. Yes. Right. Love this. <laughs> right here, like this. And super comfy. It's 169. $169. Uh -huh. It's really durable. Look, there Exactly. You tote it along with you. Side. Customizable shade, pockets for your sunscreen, what really have cute. you. Mm -hmm. This is good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, everyone needs a really good fun, uh, phone case. Okay. Got to protect all those smartphones, those expensive oh devices, okay? Oh. This is from LifeProof. And what's really great about LifeProof mm -hmm. is you can actually fully immerse it in water and your phone won't get harmed. Okay? Ready? This is my phone, everyone. You ready? Okay. okay let's get a little suspense going. Oh! <laughs> so, it works, people, it works. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is, and how much is this case? Um, I think they run around $130. It depends on which specific model you get. It comes for all the different phones and for iPads and stuff, too. Perfect. Which a lot of people like to bring. Perfect. Speaking of which, no more dead batteries on the beach for your iPads or your phones. Right. This is a solar charger from Wagon Tech. Solar, perfect. Yep, so let the sun do its thing. $69. And you can charge all your devices while you're laying, relaxing on the beach. What's better than that? That's worth it. All right, let's talk about the okay. speaker. So, no beach party is complete without some tunes. Mm -hmm. And iHome makes great speakers. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about splashing them because they're waterproof. And what's great is they're compatible with any Bluetooth device. Uh -huh. And there's a couple different styles. This one kind of hangs right on your bag. This one you can plop right in the sand. You don't okay. have to worry about anything happening to you. Uh-huh. And, 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 and this, do we have right. a next product? So we're going to come over here, Wendy. Okay. We're going to have some fun now. Fun in the sun. We can't end without having a little fun. Okay. So bring it out, guys. Perfect. All right, so this is a 10-foot beach ball from Fantasy Toyland. It's $109. Back up. Okay, and ready? Yeah. All right, here, Wendy. Go. Here you go. It's coming to you. Coming to you. <laughs> well, you know what? What's better than this that? This is great. I don't know who's responsible for blowing it up, but I'll be watching while you do. All these products are great. And everyone in our studio audience is going home with an iHome speaker and phone case.
There's so much more of the Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments. Catch my after show. And enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. for Ask Wendy. How you doing? How are you doing? Hey, Wendy. My name's Shannon. Hi, How Shannon. How you doing? Good. So, here's the story. I dated my ex-high school sweetheart for about six years on and off. About four years ago, he came out of the closet. Oh. Recently, he's been back in town, and he wants to hang out. My husband says absolutely not, because he's my ex. I say, but he's gay. And how many years have you been out of high school? Ah, uh, since 10. It was actually just 10, 10. years. And you dated him on and off during high school and, and then, then some time college, and into college. And after college. Well, and he was my best friend I, forever. I must have to say, I agree with your husband. Oh, no. I'm sorry. All right, I'm not showing him this. I, I'm so. sorry. <laughs> but you know what? If, if he was. Um, I said, I wouldn't have even told my husband anything about that we dated, mm -hmm. just that he's, he, you know, he's mm -hmm. my friend from high school and that he's gay. Yeah. But because uh, unfortunately, it, you might be able to flip him back. <laughs> Okay, I'm with her husband. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. How, how you doing? How you doing, Wendy? A nice outfit. Thank you. My name is Erin, and um, I have a 16-month-old son named Cody. Now, my husband is Asian, and my son looks nothing like me. He looks like a little Asian boy. So when we are out and about, people will be like, oh, cute kid. Is he yours? Or like... Just awkward, weird questions that they wouldn't ask me if he was like a chocolatey baby. <laughs> should I be offended? Should I like have a one-liner to come back, or should I just smile and nod and keep it moving? You definitely need a one-liner to come back, and you definitely should be offended. Yeah. Is that is the brown coming in on his ears? You know, cause <laughs> like, like, like for, for my people, we all start out like a particular shade lighter than what we'll grow into, and usually the brown starts growing in on the. E you, He's 16. Yeah. Right? Sixteen months. Yeah, so so the, brown the brown phase has passed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you need a quick one-liner. Yes. And be offended. Okay. How dare people. How dare they. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have time for another one. How you doing? Hi, I'm Amanda. How you doing? Hi, Amanda. Okay, so I graduated college last year, and I got my first, like, big girl job. Uh -huh. The only problem is that my boss is super attractive that I don't even know what to say to him. I find myself emailing him instead of going to his office because I like stumble oh, on my work. So cute. So, but I, I work with high schoolers and everyone thinks I'm a student anyway and I don't want to oh. look that way. So how can I become more professional and competitive? What do you do? Work at a day camp? No, a teacher's aide. Oh, you're a teacher's aide. Yeah. Um, well, cute is, doesn't cut it in the business world and you can't avoid him by emailing him. You know, it's, it's, it's really young, but you are young. How old are you? 22. Yeah. Um, look him in the eyes and contain yourself. We've all had, we've all had bosses or coworkers or something that we have crushes on, but you can't okay. avoid working with that person, okay? Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. And good luck. Up next, we're going to play pop quiz, so don't go far. She's from Toronto, Canada, and it's time for today's pop quiz. You ready? Oh, oh, how you doing, Wendy? How I'm you ready? doing? <laughs> okay. Um, in her prison journal, uh, what did Teresa say was gross and orange? Tater tots, beef stew, or a soy burger? I'm gonna have to go with that soy burger. Yes! Congratulations! <laughs> We're hooking you up. Thank you. With a $100 gift card to Woo! Burlington. We'll be right back. And my co host, my fabulous studio audience. <laughs> Tomorrow, he plays Olivia Pope's dad on the hit show Scandal. Joe Morton stops by. Love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.